May Solomon debuts coming up. What have you been working on in training? Um, so we've got July 2nd coming up. Uh, I was meant to fight May 28th for my pro debut, but you know the whole show got cancelled. It's okay. Um, so you know, back to work. We haven't stopped. Um, constantly working week in week out. Uh, you know, this week's been tough. Three sparring sessions uh, on Tuesday, uh, Thursday, and tomorrow Saturday. So we've got one spar. No. Now two weeks till fight time and I'm ready to go. Yeah, Ali Jensen, your opponent. What can you tell us about her? What do you know about her and, and what she'll bring in the ring? Um, I think I think she's a tough girl, you know, she's coming from John Wayne Park's gym, you know, a lot of girls are there, you know, so they're constantly, you know, mixing and working together. Um, I've seen her last fight against Lynn Centrum in up in Brisbane. Uh, that was a good fight, you know, she comes forward, volume puncher, um, you know, so she's gonna bring the heat, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, what are you expecting as a professional? How do you think it'll differ from your time in the amateurs um, when you get in the ring as a pro? Um, I think even when I was in the amateurs, I, um, I suited more the pro style. Um, you know, I, I like to sit on my shots. You know, I'm not, I'm not you know, always constantly on my feet, pop up, jumping up and down. But um, yeah, I think the pro style will really suit me and that's, that's where I belong. I belong in the professional scene, so really looking forward to it. Now we see your, um, your training schedule on your social media, your, um, your training regime. Can you talk us through like a typical day or a typical training week uh, for you? Yeah, 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 for sure. So, you know, I am, you know, I'm constantly up from early in the morning, about 6 a.m. You know, I'll be at my strength and conditioning gym at Lit's Authority up in the Tarman. Um, I've been with them for four years now, and I, I've, they've helped me a lot with my boxing. Um, so I'm constantly, you know, always doing my weights, conditioning. Um, if I'm not doing that, then I'll be doing some sort of recovery. You know, I'll be seeing my physiotherapist. Um, or either I'm sparring and back in the afternoon I'm always boxing. So I'm constantly on the grind with, with my training. Just kind of, you know, trying to get better each day. And what about the um, female boxing scene in Australia right now? It's um, taking off. You must be keen to, to get involved in that. What have you made of the female boxing scene? Um, I think it's it's growing. I think it's such a good time and it's exciting. I think it will grow even more. Um, I'm really looking forward to how big it can be and I'm really also looking forward to be, being part of it as well. So it's exciting. Now in uh, men's boxing, there was a big card announced uh, recently: Liam Paro versus uh, Brock Jarvis. What do you make of that fight? I think I think it's a great fight to be made. You know, um, I mean, no one managed to kind of get this fight happen, and Eddie Hearn came in and somehow managed to pull that off. So I think I think it's really good for Australian boxing. You know, it will, it will bring a lot of eyes from overseas and around the world to. You know, Australian boxing in itself. I think it'll be a great card. You know, so far we've got you know Sky, got Dempsey McKean, and uh, I'm sure we'll get more people. You know, Steven Spark will be on there as well. And there's word that uh, George Cambosis has uh, reactivated his rematch clause with Devin Haney. What do you make of that? And um, how do you think a rematch would play out between those two? I think. I mean. I'll, We've seen that coming, you know, George obviously will activate his re, uh, you know, rematch clause. But um, I think, yeah, George kind of needs to you know, have a different game plan coming into the second fight. And, you know, hopefully he'll get the job done and then, you know, get all the belts back and bring it home. And there's also a world title fight, Jai Opatia, Maris Bradis. Um, what do you think of that fight? Um, I have hopes on Jai. I think he'll, he'll bring, you know, He'll bring the win, you know, it's in his backyard here and, um, you know, I'm sure he'll, he'll get that win. So. Now that fight's on the same night as your professional debut. What, what, what can people expect to see in the ring from you on July 2nd? Um, I'm here to, you know, I've got one goal and it's just to get the win and uh, I want to get the job done, you know. I want to get that first pro fight out of the way at least. Hopefully we'll go ahead. Last one, May 28th didn't happen three days it got cancelled you know three days out um so yeah hopefully july 2nd will actually happen and then yeah get the job get the job done get that win and and then start my pro career from here so i'm excited well, good luck and we look forward to seeing you in the ring thank you